In the reflection of the kitchen window, I saw something move. I turned around and I saw the children standing inside the hallway. Welcome. This story is based on an experience shared on Reddit and it's bone chilling. Hi, my name is Amy. I'm 27 years old and I live in a small town in Florida. Me and my husband have just moved to our dream house. It's a tiny red house with a huge backyard and not so many neighbors. A couple of nights ago, I was home alone. My husband went away on a business trip. I went to bed quite early, maybe half past ten. I woke up by the sound of someone knocking on my front door. I was so tired and I started slowly walking down the stairs to open the door. I looked down at my watch. It was 2 a.m. I walked up to the door and looked out the people. This can't be right. Outside my door stood two small children, maybe nine years old. It was snowing outside and the children didn't even have jackets on. They were both staring down in the snow. I opened the door. Hi, you must be freezing. Where are your parents? They'll be here soon, the children answered. Can we come inside? I don't know why, but something about the children made me feel very uneasy. I had the feeling that it wouldn't be a good idea to let them inside. Despite this gut feeling, I let them inside. I couldn't let them freeze outside in the snow. I told them to follow me inside and I started making some hot chocolate for them. Well inside my kitchen, my usually lazy dog started walking towards the children while growling. I was so surprised. My dog Sako is the cutest, kindest dog in the entire world and has never even showed a tendency to be aggressive. He has never growled at anyone before. Sako, stop it! You are scaring the kids! All of a sudden, I felt really dizzy. I looked down at the children again and this time we had eye contact for the first time. Their eyes were black completely black. The girl then asked, May we use the restroom? I stood there in shock while they ran away. Everything around me was spinning. And then I felt something hot on my face running down. My nose had started bleeding. Then the power went out. Sako started growling again. I stumbled around to find a flashlight inside the kitchen. It should be here somewhere. In the reflection of the kitchen window, I saw something move. I turned around and I saw the children standing inside the hallway. Our parents are here, the children said. They walked over to the front door and rushed outside, leaving the front door wide open. I was so dizzy, but I managed to walk over to the front door and look outside. Everything was so blurry, but I saw two men in black suits in the distance. All of them went inside a car and then they were gone. I closed the door and went to bed again. I thought everything would go back to normal. But a few nights after, I found our cat dead in our driveway in a puddle of its own blood. I continued having nosebleeds and Yesterday, I went to the doctor to check it. I was diagnosed with a very specific type of skin cancer. The one you get when you overuse indoor tanning beds, which I've never even tried. Ever since then, I've wondered if it had something to do with the children that visited me. After my diagnosis, I searched for the black-eyed children on the internet. This is what I found. Black-eyed children are said to resemble ghostly children of early teens or younger and have unnatural eyes that are black. 
They are regarded as sinister, terrifying, and at times even dangerous. But no one is sure what they are. In most black-eyed children's stories and legends, the children can be found around highways, streets, and residential homes. They can also stalk passerbys or residents of a property to cause physical harm. No particular members are known except for four children who died of foul play while getting lost in the woods while playing hide and seek. On streets and highways they have been reported to appear as lost children or hitchhikers, only to attack those who stop out of concern of them. Some argue black-eyed children are ghosts. Others claim they are demons, vampires or evil magic. Some UFO lore depict them as human-alien hybrids, while others believe they are children playing rather cruel pranks on people. Many also regard them as little more than myths that have grown popular due to internet forums and sites such as YouTube and photo manipulation. One thing is for certain. You should never invite them inside your car, your garden or your house. So be careful out there and don't do the same mistake as I did.